Hey, it's Nathan with crazyarmarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a retargeting or remarketing campaign within the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. And so what a retargeting campaign is, is it's basically showing ads to individuals that have already engaged with your business in some sort of way, shape, or form. So maybe they visited your website or they joined your email list or they interacted with you on Facebook. And so they're kind of warmed up to you and who your brand is and what you all offer. And so you're going to put ads in front of them because they're already warmed up and you're going to try and get them to take action with your business. So the first thing you want to do is create a few custom audiences of people that have engaged with your business and then you're going to create a campaign and ad set that uses those audiences for targeting so that way you're showing your ads to them. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're here in the ads manager and the first thing you want to do is come to audiences and create those custom audiences and we're going to come up here to the top create audiences and custom audience and so we can select some of these different sources. And I do have another video all about custom audiences. So if you need more details, link in the description down below. But we'll go through a few of them in this video as well. So the first source we wanna go ahead and use is website. So people that have visited our website, we'll click on next here. And of course you need to make sure that you have a pixel on your website. So you're tracking people on your website and then events. So we have all website visitors. And if you wanna get more specific, you definitely could. But in this case, we're gonna use all website visitors because I might wanna show ads to anybody that has been on my website. And for retention, I'm just gonna do a four day retention window. Now, depending on your strategy, you might have a longer window or a shorter window. But for my case, I'm gonna leave it at four days and I'm not going to include or exclude any people from this particular custom audience. So I'm gonna say all website visitors four days. And then I'll go ahead and create my audience here and I'll click on done. And I'm gonna go ahead and create another custom audience, custom audience. And in this case, I wanna go ahead and add a meta source here. So I'm gonna add a video source and next. And I'm gonna select my engagement conditions right here. So people that have completed or watched at least 15 seconds of my video is what I'm gonna go for right here. And then I can go ahead and choose which videos that I'm monitoring. So I'm gonna select this video right here. So if they've watched this 11 second video, then I want to go ahead and include them in this audience. And this retention is gonna be four days as well. So watched my videos four days and create audience and I'll click on done here and then we'll create another custom audience and in this case I'm going to choose Facebook page and next and so I want to select the appropriate Facebook page and everyone who engaged with your page and so this one includes people who have visited your page or taken an action on a post or ad such as reaction shares comments link clicks or carousel swipe so that sounds like a good one to go ahead and choose and I'm going to go ahead and do four days here and engage with FB page for days and create audience and done. And I'm gonna go ahead and create one more custom audience real quick. People that engage with my Instagram account next. So everyone who engaged with your professional accounts. So it includes account center accounts and that's just a weird way of saying individual accounts and you can basically relate it to people. So it includes people who visited this profile or took an action on this post or ad such as likes, comments, saves, carousel swipes, button taps, or share. So that sounds good. And same concept, I'm gonna keep them on my audience or in my audience for four days. And this one will be engaged with IG account four days. And I'll create an audience and done. So now I have four custom audiences of people that have visited my website or watched my videos on Facebook or engaged with my Facebook page or engaged with my Instagram account. And I wanna show them ads to try and get them to take action on my website, for example. So let's come back to the ads manager over here. So I'm gonna to go to campaigns and we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new campaign. And in my case, I'm gonna go after leads, but any of the campaign objectives will work for retargeting. I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And I do have videos all about campaign objectives and ad set settings and ads. So if you need more information, check out my channel, but I'm gonna do manual leads campaign and continue. And I'm gonna go down to the ad set settings right here because that's where you select your audiences. And I'm gonna leave all these settings the same. We're just gonna focus on the retargeting. So we'll come on down to the audience area. So we have audience, advantage plus audience. And I actually wanna go ahead and switch to my original audience options right here. So I'm gonna click this button right here and use original audience. And then I can scroll on down here and I wanna go ahead and select the custom audiences that I just created. So I click in here, I got my IG account four days, my Facebook page four days, my videos in four days, and my website visitors in four days. And I wanna scroll on down a little bit. So there's advantage custom audience. So reach people beyond your custom audience when it's likely to improve performance. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I'm strictly trying to retarget people right here. 
And if you turn this on, then Facebook is going to use its algorithm to try and find people that would convert. Now that may or may not be a bad thing, but when I'm trying to retarget people, I'm trying to put ads in front of people that have already engaged with my business in some way, shape or form. But maybe it doesn't hurt to test another ad set that has this option checked. And who knows, maybe it'll produce great results. Anyway, moving on, we get into location, age, gender, detail targeting, which includes demographics, interests and behaviors, and languages. Now I would not touch the age, gender, detail targeting, or languages because again, you're retargeting people that have engaged with your business already, and you don't wanna accidentally set up like an age range or select some demographic or interest that cuts people out that have already engaged with your business. So you wanna leave those wide open so that way you're retargeting everybody. However, location, you might wanna change. So if you're advertising to a specific location, then yeah, select a specific location. But if you're selling products and services worldwide, you wanna go ahead and update your location to worldwide. So we'll go ahead and do edit here and I can click into here and I'm gonna go ahead and delete out the United States and search for worldwide. And sometimes it shows up, other times it doesn't. Like right now, it's not showing up for me. So if I click browse over here and then I select all countries, then it'll enter the worldwide option for me right here. And now it'll show ads to everybody that is engaged in my business, no matter where they are in the world. And so location is really the only thing you might want to adjust. Again, leave everything else wide open because you don't want to accidentally cut somebody out that you didn't mean to. And then you can adjust these other settings however you want. Again, I have a video all about ad set settings, so I'll link in the description down below. And then you go ahead and create your ads and the ad creation process is just like creating any other ad. There's nothing unique or fancy with retargeting ads. The main change with the retargeting ads is who you're actually targeting. And that's what we did with the audience selections down down here. And so once you're all happy and satisfied with everything, you'd go ahead and you click on next and publish and then your ads would go live and you would start retargeting individuals who engage with your business either through your website or your Facebook page or Instagram page or watch one of your videos on Facebook. And that pretty much covers it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Search the likes, comments, subscribes and or check out crazymarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day.